What's going on my crew? This is Jay. Welcome to another episode of Jay's Adventures. And if you missed the last couple episodes, you will notice two new buildings. So we got the temple slash oracle slash palace for the king, and we've got the forge. So obviously, I haven't finished the roofs off. Um, I want to talk a little bit quickly before we get into the episode about um, what's going on with this village because... Maybe the last couple episodes have seemed kind of lazy to you. Maybe I'm losing my touch. Um, again, I want to emphasize that I want this village right here to be archaic. Right immediately, this huge shift in events, this huge change in the way they viewed life has happened. Um, when a god tells you to prepare an army and to make sacrifices, uh, your entire paradigm of life shifts. So, they focus right now on let's get a let's let's make swords and let's make sure that we have a place that we can sacrifice. Um, they mentioned a king in the text, so somebody has to be king, and that king, if they are the mouthpiece of Gadira, or I still need to learn to pronounce his name right, Gadir. Um, if they're going to be a mouthpiece of that, they're probably going to get a little warped with power and say, well, ah, we need a palace. And a palace needs to have the water where you throw the gold in, and you need to make sacrifices at the bottom. So, um, I really want to show that warp. So, um, I'm going to get some materials. We're going to make a wall, and I will be right back with you. Okay, we're back. So, I want to show you guys how I want the wall um, to pan out and then we're gonna go into a creative world and actually show the wall so this is probably gonna be the easiest portion to do um, I want the wall to, to kind of surround this major area um, this is gonna be one of the places that we have a tower probably right here uh, to be able to see across the landscape uh, it's gonna make it pretty easy um, right here this is a very strategical spot for these guys um, the place they're gonna have to worry about the most is this mountain over here um, although the mountain strategically is great in regards to foot soldiers because obviously they're gonna come down they're gonna hit a wall um, it's not so great when you're dealing with archers because archers up here or mages are going to be able to do some huge massive damage um, if they're able to look over the wall that being said the wall is going to be uh, right here uh, now you also have to consider that these people um, they are going to believe that the god is going to protect them and um, take care of them through thick and thin if the god betrays them uh, if the god changes his mind which could happen uh, what will happen and they haven't prepared for that so um, I just kind of want to mention that right off the bat here is uh, you know just because these guys think they have protection from the gods doesn't mean that they actually have protection from the gods um, or from the god now the other thing I wanted to mention is these these cities that are close to each other. I, I haven't done anything with the um, other city, but for those who remember the trading city, um, by the way, I have names for these. This city is uh, Thilebard. Um, the other city is Astiamas. I got randomly generated things so I don't actually know how to pronounce them but um, at some point we'll have the words up and you guys can help me um, and the trading village is Lailcor so Lailcor has a god named Akinius uh, who's a goddess of trade and they obviously haven't developed any lore we haven't been over there they're not even like a developed town but um that whole city that whole thing is gonna be um i'm gonna try and make it so that it's we also need room for a road here so i don't want the road to be let's 
kind of push this wall back a little bit. Um, what was I saying? Trade, Akinias, middle core. Uh, oh, I want that lore over there to to be really based on um, seafaring stuff. Uh, they're going to be very f sort not really secluded necessarily, um, but they're not really going to have um, much lore necessarily to their world. You know, temples aren't going to be that important. What's important to them is is trading and and making sure that the gods stay happy with them um, that way they don't have to worry about battles or anything like that so um, I get a sense when I when I'm over there that they're just kind of um, you know as long as you're keeping the peace and you're being kind to other people th their god Akinias will smile upon you and you're not really going to have to worry about making sacrifices or uh, praying in the right way. As long as you, you do the right things and, and you do what you need to do, you'll be all right. So, Okay, so we got the, the wall lined up. Let's take a look at, at that border and kind of see. Because this is going to be the way the city is shaped. Um, the wall will come down eventually. Um, but right now, these are the sort of the borders that I want to want to work with. Okay, so we got a little bit of a curve here. Um, that way, the road can kind of curve around, and then the marketplace will be up on this wall. We've got the hayfield here, the main city part where all the people are. Um, I think it looks pretty good right now. Um, there's going to be a tower right here, and I'm thinking maybe just one tower right there i feel like if we put a tower here there really wouldn't be a point in, in it because you really unless you build the tower massively tall you're not going to be able to see over um this huge thing and since they're archaic uh walls and one tower is probably going to be enough um to really set them apart okay so let's go into creative and think about how this is going to work Okay, so I've got this creative world that I've that I always work in, and as you can see, I've tried to I tried to make a this is my little house. This is the tree we tried to do a little while back. Okay, so materials that we'll need we will need pine wood or spruce wood. Um, we're gonna need some normal wood. Uh, cobblestone. I don't want to use any andesite or granite or any of that. Um, we're also going to need some normal brick. Brick, where are ya? Where's that brick? Really? Oh, is it in decorational blocks? Not the monster egg kind. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Hello. And we also, I also want to get some spruce wood planks. Do I want anything else? Not at the moment. Okay. So for a basic rule of thumb, and I know that this is going to vary, we're going to go right now with the rule of three. The rule of five and the rule of one. So this is going to help us with a couple different things for those of you guys that don't know a lot about building. So we're building templates for ourselves. We're going to do what if we wanted to just have a one piece? What's that going to look like? Okay, well, what if we will have a three piece? And our ideal situation for paneling here is what if we have a five? So let's start start with the five. Obviously. We're going to have these wood pillars here. Um, I really like them. They show strength. Um, the thickness of the wall is going to be only one. So we're going to have that on one side and uh, repeat it on the other. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and then we're going to have a sort of mix of stone and all that right here. So we kind of have 
that going on here uh, and then right here same thing uh, and this is where the uniqueness comes in it's important to keep your builds unique if you can and I'd actually like to do more than that but I think that's all I can do right now um, and then what we're gonna do let's get some stone stairs is I'm gonna do a little bit of a ledge here as well as right here oops and then at the top of this we're gonna do that okay and then just like that just like that okay so from the outside that's what it's gonna look like when there's a three now that we've got our base down it's time to fine-tune things so right off the bat I actually don't like this that I don't mind hmm we need a little more color in this but we don't have much choice for color because of the resources that we have and again this is a very archaic society right now so unfortunately uh, there's not much to work with but just because I said we shouldn't use this maybe we can put a little bit of color in at least somewhere maybe we won't use this and actually you know what it might look better with this if we did that no that's starting to look more like a wall if we did that now that's not too bad Not too bad with a panel. That neatens it up. So maybe we want to go a little bit neat and a little less chaotic. We'll do the same over here. Give these um, whitewash sort of things. And then we'll go ahead and lift these up. Top them off with a stone brick. You know, I like that. I like that design. It's a very, um, weather clear. It's a very nice design. And what I like about it most is it's strong. It's sturdy. So I think, I think that's what we're going to go with. So we'll need a little bit of granite. We won't need too much of this. And then at the top, of course, from a strategic standpoint, uh, you can stand right here, and it's very difficult to F5 for a second. Kind of see what we look like from out here. Uh, it won't let us do that. But yeah, you guys can tell um, how strategical this can be. Uh, so, I like that. Question number two. What if we have this three? So we only have three blocks to work in. This is this is fine for five. But you'll notice if we try and do the same thing just on a smaller scale, we're going to have an issue. Uh, and then I believe it was like that. And you can already tell what the issue is. Oh, look. If we're doing it this way, then we have a little bit of a problem. At least I think we do. Let's just finish building this. Um, it's not that difficult to see over here, but it's not the most strategical and also, well, it may, it may be okay. I'm debating. Just because I don't like the idea of such... You know, this one we can vary up. This one we can't. It makes it very difficult for me to like it. Um, it's, it's a very strong feel. But it also just... I don't know. It seems to be boring and bland to me. Let's complete it. 
that. Hmm. I don't know. <sighs> Next to others like this, I think it'll work. Because most of these are going to be these fives. I think I think we'll go with it. Just because it, it works. It's simple. This is going to be where it's tough. Okay, because we can't just go like this. Because if we are going to be next to one of these, this is just going to look so stupid in between. So what we want to do is we want to come up with a good idea. Um, because this is going to be next to wood on one side, wood on the other. Um, you know, I guess that's a good point. Really what we're dealing with is a three and a one. I think if we go with anything other than that, it's going to be troublesome. Yeah. See, we're dealing with is a three and a one. I think this will work. It doesn't have to be grandiose. You guys can see that this, this wall isn't very big. It's a three high wall, which makes it so that um, if someone was standing up there and you had um, a bow on you, very easy to just poing right there right up here super easy even to just shoot over um, typically you want walls to make it so that you can't shoot over them so um, but the main point here that's really crucial and important is that no one no one can go like this and and hit you I don't think maybe maybe they could but if you're standing like this, you're kind of stupid. Um, so this allows these people to have greater advantage up at the top. Kind of strike down. You can hide. Uh, gives you a defensive position, which is important. Um, so I think that'll work. Uh, it's not great. It's not my favorite. But as we build up uh, on top of these walls and build out when we destroy them and work towards the, the sort of the future here, we'll be able to work. Uh, actually, we may not destroy them. This may be the inner wall. Because um, that's, I think, typically how cities are, are made. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we're going to be working on this wall. Not next episode, but um, hopefully I'll have a good idea of where it's going to be and kind of the structure of it um, in the episode after next because I'm going to be working on that. But thanks for watching, and until next time, Happy mining and crafting!